G'day mate, and welcome back to Good Company with me, JD. So, Extra Life. I went and did Extra Life. Um, an episode was recorded. An episode will never end up on the channel because it took an hour and a half. Um, yeah, yeah, I overbuilt. Um, I overbuilt thinking it was the end goal and it turns out that was just part one of the part two part goal. So, yeah, um... We're going to move on to uh, uh, merry-go-round. So here we did make a gaming console. It was not good quality. In fact, it was really bad quality. Uh, horrible quality, in fact. I think I managed to get it to three and a half stars. Yeah, it wasn't. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we're going to move up to robots. Um, good Countries Administration has offered you some new buildings. Uh, not just any buildings. A long time ago, Humble Conveyor Belt was invented right here. By a visionary baker. Many of these halls are filled again with heartwarming hum are those great machines. So we need to make cleaner bots, but more importantly, we're going to get uh, our hands on... Um, we're going to get our hands on conveyor belts. In Extra Life, I should mention that, we did get um, upgraded benches. So we had electronics bench, a chemical bench. Our ticker table went up to a level 2 table. I can't even remember what it's called now. And that's about it. So we did learn a little bit more. At least I did learn a little bit more. Um, here we want to try conveyor belt. So, uh, Laker family. Truth be told, old place seem better days. Living history, and you are a Linda Laker. Okay. My grandparents came up with the original idea for a conveyor belt. So it should actually be named uh, Leclerc belts. Uh, Le Leclerc bands. Okay. Um, I think. Hmm. Long time ago, also heard the famous Leclerc Bakery took a big hit and never recovered. Uh, but I miss the banana cookies. Since then, Leclerc Empire fell. And I've only uh, been able to keep hold of these buildings. I've maintained and reforged Leclerc bands, though. They're in top condition. Uh, imagine what ink impact Leclerc bands could have could have in our productivity. I want to say there's an element of truth to this. Uh, honestly, Leclerc here has become a vital part of a su su successful company. Um, uh, time for us to enter hot new market robots. We build up core components. Just we start with a steady production of motor modules. Set up production for motor modules are from the location category. Output of less than 20 units per week. Even use new conveyor belts. Okay, so in here, we have conveyor belts. Uh... You can pick conveyor belts, construction panel, and build them. You only have conveyor belt parts in your inventory. Each belt you want to place. Uh, you can only place straight segments at once. If you want to turn your belt, you have to place a corner and then first, and then change direction. What? That's not placing a corner first. That's stopping and then just okay. Conveyor belts by selecting construction panel, move mode. You can only remove segments of the conveyor belt. Blah 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 blah. Uh, you can connect the start and the conveyor belts with the rest of your logistics network. Belt will stop when item reaches the end of the belt. That's boring. Much more fun, fun if it fell off. Uh, yeah. Roller bands at the end. Or, or... Oh, okay. And we can put roller bands so we can take stuff off part way. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're gonna want to build a conveyor parts, conveyor parts. Okay, uh, the basic workbench, that's what we got. Okay. Well, no, she just said motor parts. Okay, second so power integrated circuit, simple case, enhanced case, single blah, 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 gear. Metal case, small step of motor. Wait, okay, I think I want one of these. I think that's what I need. I don't, not. Uh, locomotion category. Pause. Ooh. We're not losing any money, so it doesn't matter. No. 
that's all basic basic stuff is that what they want small stepper motors they've given me a symbol Loki Blueprints, a design desk. I don't have a product I can create. Okay, so we're, we're learning what it's not. This must be what they're referring to. No, it's not in the manual. It's not in research. from the locomotion category. No. It says locomotion logistics, employees, info browser. Module. Uh, motor. Well, that's not how we search. Small stepper motor. That is what they're talking about. They're just calling it two different things. Awesome. Okay. So you need a mechanical part which is made in a mechanics workbench. Uh, hang on. You wanted a metal. Okay. You want rods. So I'll give you rods first. And once we set the recipe, we can actually upgrade the station to the next one. Uh, you also want a metal which comes in directly. Mechanical part. I don't see mechanical part. Mechanical workbench or a basic workbench. So I gotta upgrade. Oh. I gotta have a tier two bench to start with to make a mechanical part, which requires screws and gears. Okay, so you're gonna make screws. I'm gonna upgrade you on principle. And you're gonna make gears. And we're gonna upgrade you. Upgrade. Oh, I can't upgrade that. Mechanics workbench. Okay. So, for every one of these, which takes on a basic workbench, takes 0.67 of a day. Uh, it needs pipes, two rods, which take, uh, on a basic workbench, which is what we're running, take 0.27 of days so we'll get two in the time it makes to get one of these crafted uh we also need mechanical part we need these things which makes five of these yeah five of these every 0.67 uh we're at 0.67 okay so we can make five of these so i can make five of those already uh Screws come from rods, so you can feed that. Oh, you make 20 rods. You only need two. Okay. You. Okay. You are going to make... So you can make two rods. Uh, no, you make two rods. You make twenty rods every 0.275. No, I'm, 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 I've decided. No, I'm not going to go too far into the ratios. All right, you can make metal sundries, which is just just screws. Why can't we just call it screws? You make bashes of fifty. You use fifteen. You use f gears. Uh, that takes. 0.27 of a day and you take 0.67 but you make 50 so I'm pretty sure 
Alright, I'm pretty sure you're going to be used by multiple things. So, we're going to have to set up some storage. Uh, I found that these are actually way more handy. Uh, who needed rods? You need rods. Because these ones can be accessed from both sides. Alright, so I want to have logistics. Oh, is that the inn? Oh, that's the inn or oh, the other end. I'm doing all this wrong. Okay, construction. Move. start with you bringing in paws we're gonna start with you bringing in metal I'm gonna take the metal and move it to here you're gonna output rods to there you need to input rods to there you're gonna take those there you then need screws and gears so we go back to the building menu we go for another small shelf right there uh, we want your output to go there your output to go there uh, your input and your input uh, and you also wanted metal and rods Okay, so then we're going to have, let's do, um, no, let's keep it to a small. I want, I want those to output to there, and then we're going to take both of those up to there, which we're then going to move into there, which I assume your output's going to go there. Uh, we're also going to take metal up to there so it's handy. Okay, so that's our rough logistics. Now, we do know we have overproduction, 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 overproduction. So I can actually run a couple of these basic workbenches uh, making motors. We don't need access to that door. Uh, no, uh, we wanted those. Those, those, those. Let's go to move. Rip that up, put that there. Logistics. Into there, into there, into there, into there. Now I've done all that. We're actually going to move that. Hang on, come here. We're going to have you all supply back into the middle. And then we'll have one person moving that to that conveyor belt. Sure. Uh, okay, which means I want production, I want a logistics table, one there and one there. Okay, so now it should be higher, 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 uh, higher logistics person, uh, higher a second logistics person. Now you're meant to bring metal up here, but you don't have any way. So this is the one thing I don't like about the logistics things. They, they need to get metal from here to here, but it almost looks like they've got to like, Pick it up, move it here, and then from here to there, which I'm finding frustrating. Uh, oh, it's this person's logistics job to move it. Oh. Oh, 
I just assumed it was this person's logistic job because it, it was in this area. Uh, now I can already see I have enough overproduction. I can probably make more mechanical parts without it, without any hassle. You've got pipes. Okay, so now we can go higher, 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 and higher. All right. So we have mechanical parts, which are made every 0.67 of a day. You use five mechanical parts every 0.67 of a day. So that should be a nice, simple ratio. But as long as we have spare gears and screws, we can make another lot of these. So I'm going to uh, basic workbench uh, right here. You're going to make those. We're going to hire a person. Uh, so your output goes to there, but your input goes to there. Done. And I found this is a much better way of doing things rather than trying to pre-calculate the ratios out, literally let them build. And then they're like, oh, we've got an oversupply of A, B, C. Well, let's just, you know, build another one of those to chew up the oversupply. It actually means I could probably put down another five of these guys because we're now producing these fast, although metal's not getting there. So you probably need a second employee. And I probably should bring in two lots of metal. Yes, there's none left. You're all out of metal. Yeah. So they have two employees dragging stuff out of the incoming zone. Uh, okay, so I want to... And this is one thing I found weird as well. I need to move to... Uh, put that in my inventory... And then, no, wrong button, that button. Move to. Uh, oh, you're staying there with no way to unload them. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, big shopping rack. Meme shopping rack. Uh, logistics, we're gonna have those go to there instead and oh yep not output to there okay uh and i've made 15 out of 20 16 out of 20 hopefully well hang on you guys take what 0.67 of a day and there's seven in the week uh, well, we're going to move on. We should decide what kind of robots we want to make, though. Do you have something in mind? Officer is a little sticky, and that gives me an idea. Cleaner bot. Cleaner bot's brilliant. Let's start right away. Uh, not so fast. We don't have anything we need yet to truly compete this moment. We need to plan for stability. See, so what do you recommend? Research categories, but not yet invested in compartment modules sound promising. Our analysis desk and a research desk should be able to make some decent start. Generate, spend at least 10 basic research data points each day. Uh, seems like production values could be more efficient. Show me. Their walk times are pretty good. You are wrong, bot. Go away. All right, so we wanted research. Uh, research. We want, nope, oh, analysis desk. Uh, research desk. Analysis desk. We got all out here. What can you analyze? Can you analyze small steppers? You can. Cool. Uh, small stepper motor. Uh, small stepper motor. Alright, we want a small shelving unit here. I want logistics. I want those to go there instead. Uh, and now not go there. Uh, I want to hire, 
higher and higher and open tech tree small compartment large compartment medium DC motor medium stepper motor uh, quadruple battery stack okay so that's obviously the research we want uh, move to because I can do the research for the moment Oh, did I not set up? Oh. There, to there, to there, to there. Also, there, to there, to there. Uh, I want... Can I see a priority? Oh! So it looks like I can out... Prioritize as an output, but not an input. Okay. Uh, you have nowhere to put your junk. That's what you're telling me. And you're still short on metals. Did I? Move to. I don't know if I do this, we can allocate more storage to things. Uh, actually, if I remove... No. Somebody's still importing those. Uh, no! 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 Cool. Uh, That one to there, that one to there, that one to there, that one to there, and that one to there. So we're going to put them to there, then we're going to move them from there to there. Cool. All right, I'm going to go back to the, my table. Uh, logistics. You're moving stuff around. You two are both moving metal, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like we've finally got enough in here. Uh, manual research. 40. We're making tremendous losses. Excellent. Alright, but after we get some modules under our belt, we should be able to start making decent amounts of research. And I can already see this particular configuration we can scale way up. Because uh, I have lots of excess here. I have lots of excess here. And we're probably finally getting enough metal up here that I should have excess here. And no, we're just crunching them as fast as possible. Five used a day? Oh. It looks like I need a second research desk. Uh, okay, well, let's make a second research desk. Uh, research desk. Analysis desk. Uh, hire a person. Uh, you can do small stepper motor. Uh, hire. Small stepper motor. Hire. Logistics, that one. We can also go to there and there. And what do you want now? Strong output of metal sundries is great, but your space to store them. Yeah, that's fine. That's what we call backing up the system. Dismiss. Uh, gears, backing up the system. Uh, output of mechanical parts, backing up the system. And rods, backing up the system. My grandparents could never imagine uh, what innovative people like. You would do to create what you you would one day create in this place. Okay. Uh, still had access to whole facility. Speaking, wish you could. S why are you still have all those buildings? Reforging the Leclerc bands did eat my savings. I must admit, but I've fallen behind some of my mortgages. 
Oh. Don't be carrying yourself without your commitment. We wouldn't be able to benefit from stuff today. Let's put you to design to design a cleaner bot blueprint. Put in production. Aim for at least 10 units per week. Okay. You could have a hired person. Because that frees me up. Oh, even though I could stand there and do that forever. Ooh. Honestly, I don't actually do anything in this place apart from yell at people. Um, we want a design desk. Which we're going to put here. Because it doesn't do anything. Create new. Cleaner bot. So, we can have a windowed case, an enhanced case, or a polished case. Uh, polished case is screws, stylus case, and wood. Refined wood? Which needs wooden chemicals. Oh, boy. Talk about components on components. Uh, reinforced case, plastic parts, and metal. That doesn't seem too bad. And that is a metal case, metal, and glass. That seems even easier. Okay, so we're gonna create a window. Uh, clear cleaning. Uh, which requires eight mobility. This is 0.4. That's not too bad. And then processing power, which is under here, isn't it? Yeah, of 0.5. That's all you need. You don't need batteries. I guess we're gonna hand crank start it. Okay, so small step of matter, we're making programmable circuit. Programmable circuit. Which requires... Okay, requires a circuit board. Requires an integrated circuit, which is electronic parts and plastic parts. That's easy enough. Requires a simple, uh, a logistical circuit, which requires a simple circuit, which requires, it's it's a like tier three module. So you're gonna make the, the simple circuit to make logistic, uh, logic circuit to make the programmable circuit. Okay, so we're gonna, oh crap, that's really fast. Okay. It's got a good price and a good market appeal. We're just going to go with that. Ooh, how pretty. Uh, actually, duplicate. Uh, oh, we did, I didn't click finish design. Right, okay, discard. Uh, oh, did I? Okay, duplicate. Edit, because I didn't look at, this is what I went, oh. No, we're going to go for a vacuum cube. Cleaning squid may be for our next appearance. Uh, yeah, there are some really weird designs in here. Okay, so you go there, you go there, you go there. Uh, all right, so we now need a new production. I assume, oh, we got two outgoing zones. Oh, and another conveyor belt feeds in from a new building. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go big. Okay, so we want to make a... Hum. Okay, you're gonna make a clear cleaning which requires small stepper motors, they're here. Requires programmable circuits, which are elsewhere, and a window case. Uh, a window case. I have no idea how we get to a window case. A window case is right there. It requires a metal case. It requires that bench. And a metal case which requires a simple case, okay. Uh, we're gonna make a metal case, an upgrade U, which now requires a simple case. Uh, simple case, upgrade U as well. So you make a simple case in... What? 
super case in 0.27 of a day. You make a metal case in 0.27 of a day, and you make a window case in 0.27 of a day. So you guys make cases. You guys make bots, which we have to go back to blueprint designer is 0.44, so I can run maybe two machines. Uh, Actually, before we put down two machines, let's get uh, move. Uh, so it's a three-step process. So we're going to go one, two, three. Nice and convenient. We're going to put in small shelving rack right there. Uh, you're going to order in plastic. You're going to order in metals and glass okay so you're gonna take your plastic uh, I'm gonna open you up your metal and your glass I'm gonna open you up you're gonna bring in plastic and put out case you're gonna bring in metal plastic case output better case you're gonna bring in better what metal case goes to metal case yeah glass goes to glass uh, metal goes to metal even better cases are gonna output there uh, which is then gonna have to go back to a shelving unit let's go with a medium shelving unit That goes to there. That goes to what? Conveyor end. How do I access what's on the end? Okay, I need a conveyor point there. Uh, move. You can go there, you can go there, you can go there. Uh, you're going to need an employee. You unpause it. At least then we can get our first delivery in and hopefully get that shipped out. Uh, how the hell do I get a logistics? How do I get logistics out of this? Okay. Back to our manual. Uh, yeah. This is where you can start. You can get, start in the end of the conveyor belt with the rest of your logistics network. Keep in mind item types at the end of the belt, or is determined by the types connected to the start of the belt. Conveyor belt stop when the item reaches the end of the belt. Make sure end of buffer to even out logistics flags. But I can't access it. Is this because technically I don't have anything on the logistics now? Oh, okay. Even though there's physically stuff sitting there. Okay, we got two items down. Uh, we should have an employee. Yeah, we do have an employee. Okay, so you're going to take crap from there and put it over here. And then you guys are going to build that after I actually hire people to build that. Okay, so the next thing we need is our circuits. So we want a programmable circuit, which requires a logistics uh, logic circuit, which requires a simple circuit, which requires circuit boards. Uh, upgrade the hell out of you. A simple circuit. Uh, logic circuit. I don't care where these tables go yet. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So you need plastic and metal. They're right there. That's convenient. Uh, you need circuits and electronic parts. Which circuits can come from you? Electronic parts can come from somewhere else. You're going to need plastic parts. Cool.
cool. Uh, and you're going to need circuit boards, which we've got there, plus those, plus integrated circuit, uh, which is electronic parts and plastic. Okay, so again, we want move you to there, you down here, you in there. You can slide down as well. Something like that. And we're gonna want storage, a small shelving rack right here. So you wanted metal uh, or plastic and metal and you're gonna output circuits. You wanted plastic and output plastic parts. You want electronics which we need to order in uh, those go to there which then can go to there oh, fine there to there to uh, move another small shelf Out of way. Out of way. Okay. Uh, you go into there. You go into there. You go into there. You go into there. You're next on the list. Which you're going to output your plastic parts to that one as well. So it can come into there and it can go into there and you're going to also bring your electronic components into there and then there actually small shelving unit those do not bring them from there bring them from there so they can't all oh, no actually let's do that in reverse bring them from there to here and then bring them from that shelf to that shelf so we're going to bring them from here to here and then from this one to that one so we can put a logistics thing in here uh your logic circuits go back into there and then we should have this building, which should we're out of space now shelving in it. Okay. Should be able to have your input goes to there. Your input goes to there. Uh, your input goes to there, which goes to there, which then your output goes to that shelf. Are you with me so far? Welcome to a spider nest. It's logistical web. That's what it is. Okay. More importantly, nothing's flashing. Okay. So we're going to need a logistics point in here, which would need a employee. Uh, you are so going to need a second employee because there's so much stuff for you to cart around. Uh, you have plastic. We can hire that person. Hang on. You're getting plastic. I'm not doubling up anything, am I? So it's just electronic circuits, which are coming from there to there to there. Plastic, same story. Uh, your output on... So it means you're outputting to two shelves. So what I really want to do is I want you... You'd output plastic from there, and then we'll have a logistics person moving around on the inside. Something like that. Metal. No, that should be everything. Okay, so once we have one of those crafted, which we have, we can hire that person. 
you need, yep, your components are being found, your components are being built. Uh, you has outputted one of those. Uh, research complete, small component. Let's go, nope, wrong button. That research. Uh, have a big component. Uh, you have no plastic. Okay, straight away hire another person. Uh, integrated circuit, which is plastic and circuity bits. Uh, they're there. Uh, circuit board and electronic parts. Yep, they're there. Uh, so I need that to do a cycle too before we start moving on. If I make a logistics point, okay, that sucks. I want that to be a big shelf. Uh, okay, one thing that I really wish the game had, it was fast replace. Um, no such thing exists. So I actually want... That item to come there and no, not go there. I want. Nope, you can go away. Window case. Window case goes there, doesn't go there. Small stepper unit. You just stay where it is. Uh, you go there, you go there, and you go there as well. Uh, move to. And shelf is now empty, deconstruct. If I do that one at the same time, excellent. Big shelving unit right there. Uh, that. Logistics. That goes to there. That goes to there. That goes to there. Everything from there goes to there. Uh, you should be able to be hired by now, and you should probably be able to hire by now as well. Which then means eventually I can hire somebody to do this. After one of those is made. Uh, okay. You guys are not keeping up. Hire a person there. Might need a second storage rack for just plastic from the looks of it. So all of you can get plastic from there. What? You can't have two inputs for plastic? So you have options? Really? Okay. So I want to move to here. Grab plastic in my inventory, move to here, because I want to set up a second slot for plastic. Plastic goes to there. We've already done that. Don't deliver it here anymore. Then we want you to get your plastic from there instead. You can have two priorities. Well, there you go. Uh, you to get plastic, and you to get plastic, and you to get plastic, and delete, 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 uh, delete. Yes. Which should free up one shelf. Well, one slot. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. What are you missing? 
What are you missing? Small stepper motor. I've got that. Window case. Window case. Program circuit. Program circuit. Circuit. Oh, you don't have an output. Oh. We should sell them. All right. So now we got to get up to 10 per week. Which... You take 0.44 of a day. So providing all my production keeps up, that should be fine. Uh, I'm wondering how many research points we have available. 400. Okay. Uh, three per week. Okay. You are slowly stocking up. So what I can do, because we did work it out, I can put down another assembly table here. But the difference being is if I just steal all these components and then I move to here, I can just handcraft the difference. Because that's a fairly good way of getting these gold. And the fact that I can't quite support, it's like 0.44 of a day to make one of these. And I don't think I can support two assembly tables flat out. Goal! Seeing this place expand again brings me memories when my parents ran the bakery business. Almost smell the freshly baked cookies. Uh, we must stay focused on the cleaner bots. are selling well, but we need to ramp up production and consolidate our position in the market. Uh, with additional space, should we ever sell a great deal more? A wise move would add flexibility in our existing conveyor belt system. I'm afraid uh, the clear belts uh, will we have here is all I can offer. Not to worry, we can easily extend them. Just need to craft more things, conveyor parts. Let's try that now. Um, move to, how about we empty my inventory of all this junk first. And move to, we can dump those back in there. Okay. Can I unreserve you? No. Okay, so why do we want to make more conveyor belts? I don't see a need but sure as part of the quest we shall make some more but we're gonna do that in a follow-up episode because i think we're done for right now uh logistics shelves you guys output to there who's then moving it to there yeah it works uh we are using a lot of motors to just destroy what do you want you have a strong output of integrated circuit, but the production employees are lacking space to store them. See, I think this is the way to go. Wait till you have like somebody who can't output something, and that's when you go, okay, we're going to upgrade production. Um, because that's the integrated circuit, which is used up here, which actually means I need to up this circuit and this circuit as well. So, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying good company. I definitely am too. I'm wondering when we get up to military bots that can take over the world. Um, can we? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Unpause. Do I already own this building? Walk faster, lady. Oh, I do. But I don't own these two buildings. So I can't see into them. I get a floor plan only. Okay, but I have this one. Has no incoming and outgoing zones, but providing your production is small, it could be done. And that has no incoming or outgoing zones either. Hmm, well, it must be look at conveyor belts, because maybe a little outhouse building, building like this wouldn't be a bad spot con for conveyor belts. Conveyor belts. Yes. Uh, I actually have no idea what it's required to make them. Nope, nope. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop you. Anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoy. See you guys in the next episode, where I slowly lose money hand over fist. Anyway, I'm out. Bye. Thank you.